professor of chemistry at the <coughs> Federal Swiss uh, Institute of Technology in Zurich. Actually, I'm moving now to the University of Roma. In this uh, talk, I try to raise a, a few points. Uh, the general uh, scenario was uh, an overview going from the research on the origin of life to the research of making life in the laboratory. And of course, in order to make life, you have first to understand uh, what are the um, prerequisites of uh, life. We consider uh, as a model uh, simple life as the one we observe in prokaryotes, in a very simple cellular organism. And concerning the <coughs> origin of life <coughs> up to this simple organism, we all share the idea that uh, life on Earth um, is a uh, spontaneous process of uh, increasing complexity, namely the life on Earth originated from non-life via a very large number of small steps of increasing complexity, going from simple molecules to larger molecules to even larger complex <coughs> and so on, up to the point where there were spherical constructs capable of self replication and uh, mutation. This uh, is still should be considered as a working hypothesis, although it is shared by almost all researchers in the field, a working hypothesis because it has not been um, uh, demonstrated yet. And part of the research on the origin of life <coughs> tends to demonstrate experimentally this uh, pathway. Uh, I indicated in my talk the difficulties in um, completing the um, imitation of this pathway and the largest uh, of these uh, difficulties lies in the uh, synthesis of uh, the macromolecules of life, namely proteins and nucleic acid with a specific sequence. We do not uh, understand yet how they could have been formed. Uh, also from the conceptual point of view, this seems to be very hard due to the, to the laws of contingency that uh, should accompany the formation of uh, these large uh, macromolecules. In the second part of the talk, I went into the question how can we make in the laboratory some uh, models for living cells, and I showed that one way is the use uh, of liposomes uh, as model for cells, in which you inject or incorporate the minimal amount of uh, nucleic acid and uh, enzymes uh, so as uh, uh, to respond to the question, what is the minimal amount of uh, genes that are necessary in order to have uh, a uh, cell that is living, namely that is capable of self-reproduction, mutation, and uh, metabolism? This question implies that the <coughs> early cells, uh, the origin of evolution, were much simpler than uh, uh, the modern cells. And I indicated ways by which uh, this uh, laboratory construction uh, could be possible.